UGD coming at you with your 2A update for September 7th. Thank you to all you guys that hit comments on the first one, so I'm going to do another one, and we're going to need a knife. Yep, not all about firearms this week, guys. Dateline, Kent, Connecticut. Prosecutors say fatal shooting in Connecticut last year was a case of self-defense. No charges filed. Hmm. Andre apparently got himself shot, and it appears to be a lawful exercise of self-defense. State investigators for more than six months before six months before closing the case, guys, that's a long time. Uh, 32-year-old Andre was at a relative's home, and he decided to tell Hunter, "Hey, I need to ride to the liquor store." Hunter said, "No, no, no, I'm not taking you to the liquor store." And uh, but well, apparently Andre lost his monkey and went at him with a knife. Yeah, went at him with a knife for a ride to the liquor store, guys. If you got that big a problem, oh goodness gracious! So here's Andre. And I had to investigate this a little bit more and find another story on it because six months to figure this out. So Andre gets liquored up, says, I need another ride to the liquor store. I got to get some more liquor. And then he got all knifey on somebody. Yet when he got told no, he got all knifey. And the hunter went and barricaded himself in his bedroom. And yet Andre said, no, no, no. I'm going to kick the door in. I'm going to kill you unless you take me to the liquor store. Well, Hunter wouldn't have any of that. Took a 12-gauge shotgun and took care of business. Guys, six months. Hunter was under investigation. Six months. This is a cautionary tale, guys. Even when it's justified, boy, they could take a while to figure that out. Next story, Dateline, China. This is why we got the knife. Guys, no Second Amendment over there at all. So, fatal knife attack in E China, I guess East China, ruled as justifiable defense. Yeah, justifiable defense. Controversial knife attack in East China, I can't say that province, was ruled justifiable defense for a man who stabbed another to death following a traffic spat. They got road rage over there, guys. Here's what happened. The guy in the BMW uh, abruptly turned right into the bike lane, and he knocked over a dude on a bike. BMW dude, you know how those BMW dudes are. He got out of the BMW, kicked the bike over, and then attacked Mr. Huffy. Yeah, he's just riding his Huffy down the road, and the BMW guy attacks him. He went to the BMW, gets a knife out, and goes after him. Yeah, so Huffy guy is standing there with BMW dudes coming at him with a knife, well, Huffy guy apparently knows a little Bruce Lee. Got that knife away from him and started taking care of business. Yeah, stabbed him on the way back to the BMW, and the guy died. Well, here's what's interesting about this. You read into the story, it talks to lawyers in China, which, you know, hell, who knows how that thing works? I mean, we saw that one guy trying to stop tanks. Surprise, he's still alive, and he may not be. And so the lawyers are going back and forth, and I'm reading with the lawyers that say, no, 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 that's not self-defense. You can't be doing that. And they act like, well, he was just going back to his BMW. What the hell says he's not going back to get a hot rod? Hmm. I don't know. Those cats right there could probably work for the prosecutor office in the, the country of California. Next one we got here. Grizzly shooting ruled self-defense. You know what? I'm going to say it real quick, guys. China. No, nah, a panda bear. There's nothing scary about a panda bear. We got real bears here. Grizzlies, black bears. We got the real bears. Dateline, Pinedale, Wyoming. Fishing game investigating a shooting of a female grizzly. They ruled it uh, self-defense. That's right. And the Pinedale Regional Supervisor, John Lund, said the grizzly sow's killing was justified under the circumstances. Here's what happened. They got some hikers out there, and their dog saw the bear. The bear went after the dog. The dog decided, hey, I probably ought to get with my group and go back to the hikers. He ran to the hikers, so the grizzly charged head-on toward one of the men who's legally carrying a handgun. Look at this, guys. Shot several times from 10 feet away. Woo, I bet that I bet that was a pants check after that. One hiker was carrying the bear spray. <laughs> oh, just get out of my way, man. I got a pistol. I'll take care of this business. Uh, and he just couldn't get the bear spray on him. Now, this is what Lund said. They didn't do anything wrong. They were in a group. They couldn't spray. They had to defend themselves. Now, here's, here's the, the telltale right here, guys. The sow had two cubs. Here's a little side story. I was in the Montana camping one night. Me and the dudes go for a little hike before uh, sundown, and we saw the scariest thing you could ever see on God's green earth. Baby bear tracks. Yep, baby bear tracks, and they were super duper fresh. Now, I told my dudes, hey, we are walking out of here slowly. You guys get back to the campsite. I will follow you. Had my 30-30 ready because, guys, there is nothing scarier, more ferocious on God's green earth than a mama bear. So the grizzly was wearing a collar also, apparently. Hmm. So the last time this this mama bear met a human being, he strapped a big old collar that she had to lug around for seven years or so. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'd be pissed, too, if I was getting a collar stuck on me. 
Last story of the week. Miller County homeowner shoots an intruder. Yeah, Dateline, Miller County, Missouri. Uh, Miller County Sheriff's Office uh, deputies responded to a home in Eldon, Missouri on the 23rd of July. Deputy said the victim was found with non-life-threatening gunshot wound to the arm, but was taken to the hospital. Well, let's find out what happened here. Uh-oh. Uh, the gunshot victim uh, unlawfully entered a home with a hatchet. Yeah, a hatchet. Guys, they come into your house with a hatchet. You better have one of these. The homeowner was justified based on the preliminary and information his office received. Yep, yep, so they're not going to prosecute this guy, but the case is still under review. How ridiculous is that? Dude comes in your house with a hatchet, wanting to put the kill on you. You got to shoot, guys. You absolutely got to shoot. So those are your 2A update for September 7th. If you liked the video, guys, hit that thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. If you thought I am wasting everybody's time, hit the thumbs down and please subscribe.